hello and welcome back to another vlog. So this weekend I have an event. I will be going to an event that's called They Said Yes and it is a friend of a friend's event. So they're putting this on with a event coordinator and it's a mock bride and groom wedding where vendors can go and show their goods or services in the mock-up of a wedding so that people who are getting married, potential brides and grooms, can come and check out different florists, check out the makeup, check out the hair team, just get introduced to these vendors who are in the Seattle industry that are offering different and various services. And then we're gonna pass out our business cards. They're even gonna have dinner served. I think there's a cake maker. I mean, there's everything, a DJ, the whole, it's like a complete mock wedding. Just had my coffee, I got on my computer, answered emails, did all the things I needed to do. I did a hair mask. So I've shown this before. This is the Matcha Magic Smoothing Hair Mask by Pamela mellow and company. I really like this because it's like in a Capri Sun style packet. You squeeze out about a walnut size onto your hand and then you work it into your hair dry and then it just it's oily kind of but like a paste like a mask. Work it into your hair and just let it sit for 30 minutes it says on the packet but I do this as long as I'm doing whatever task I'm doing. So whenever the task is done and I'm ready to shower that's when I take it out. So I think today it was in for like an hour and a half. I also did this which is what I was using before I put in my extensions last time so it's almost empty but this is the act and acre cold press stem cell scalp serum and i got this in an ipsy i think it was an add-on definitely going to add some more of this into my cart next time because i don't have a lot of stuff that are scalp focused most of the things i have are for split ends and hair health and bleaching and all that this is all about that scalp and you want to just try to treat everything you can i don't have like dry scalp issues or anything like that but i just feel like you know anything to help it grow healthy and strong is going to be a tick in my book so we did a little bit of this on the roots and then i went in with my blowout serum and you're looking at some pretty decently healthy hair that's been bleached far too much <laughs> so this is the best it's gonna get still not feeling as good as it was before i bleached it last time so we're gonna have to think of something else i don't think i can bleach my hair as much anymore because i feel like it's not my hair is getting to the point where it's like if you want to be healthy and long you can't keep bleaching me. You know how I said I was gonna just keep getting like active wear for when I'm hanging out around the house or when I go on walks, I just want more gym clothes. And so we went thrifting and I hit the gym clothes section. I got this and a pair of yoga pants that are like a powdery pink. I love a uh, neon color with a good, I don't have a tan, but you, for me it's a tan, okay? Yeah, that's tan. So you see what I mean? It just looks good with the, but this is, um, I think, a little bit too big on me, which is the only annoying thing. It's like, come on, why did we close the dressing rooms in all of the thrift stores around here? Goodwill and Value Village both did it, and they're trying to use COVID as the excuse. And I know for a fact that it's not because of COVID, because you're in a dressing room by yourself. What difference does that make? We're all touching the clothes, and like people can return things temper. You know, I think people can return. You can exchange at Value Village. Um, so like. What gives? Do you have a pen? Yeah. Is still their pen? Yeah. And so. And so. Golden Hour Vegan Superfood Latte at Golden Hour. I always thought this was to hold the pen, but that's mm. definitely not what that's for, is it? No. To get in their treats. He quiets down right away with the treats. So <laughs> we really we need to just carry food at all times for a well-behaved bean. That'd be great. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. You too. Bye. Thanks. Little 5 p.m. dog walk. Bark, bark in the park, park. Garden check. We have some more color coming in. Some red tulips over there.
Good morning. I am just getting done filming my Wednesday wine shop for next week. So if you are somebody who is getting married or know somebody who is getting married, you might want to tune into that one. It is all the do's and don'ts and tips that I have for brides that are regarding their makeup artist. So I just feel like there's so many questions that I get and there's a little thing on my website that says, you know, Q&A for brides, but it's so much easier to explain these things just in a video. So I'm gonna have that actually planted on my website so anybody can refer to it at any time. And I did it mostly to offer to my brides that have been scheduling and booking. Bridal season is ramping up people. And I just wanna have it there so that they can refer to it. If they have any uh, major like concerns or questions about things, a lot of people ask about spray tan. A lot of people ask about getting facials beforehand and uh, deposits, how that works, um, what to expect on the day of the wedding, what should they prepare, should they prepare, questions they can ask their MUA, things like that. So it's just all those questions that I get asked and I think it would just be so much easier if it was in video forms. You can tell that I've been talking to a camera because I get chatty like news anchor voice. <laughs> I get that like, and here's this, and here's what we're doing, and this is it, and I'm just like really on, you know? <laughs> like I need to relax and remember that now I'm back in vlog mode and I can chill. Vlog mode is more me and more Sienna. Anyway, I actually have a order at uh, Nordstrom I need to go pick up because I have been on the search for a freaking mist, a glow mist that I was in love with, that I was absolutely in love with. And this is typically why when I love something and I don't wanna forget it, I keep it. I keep it in a bottle and that way I'm not like, what was that? What was that thing that I loved? And that way, so I'll never forget. I need some more Vive Skin Nova. I don't think I would ever forget this one though, just because I'm a super fan. I'm just such a fan of Jamie Genevieve. Jamie Genevieve, will you be my friend? <laughs> <laughs> just gonna keep doing that until all the youtubers i love like follow me back and are my friends <laughs> i couldn't for the life of me remember the name of this brand i had used all the way through the bottle and threw the stupid bottle away so then i forgot i forgot what it was called but just so happened i made an instagram reel using it and i was going through old archived reels i found it that's it that's the brand it's called kula Ultra Fine 360 Mist. I was recommended it through an esthetician. I had gone and gotten a facial and it was a, I told her I worked on my computer a lot. So it's a blue light, like full spectrum SPF kind of resistant. But that's where I'm kind of nervous. It's like, is the SPF in the Ultra Fine Mist gonna cause any sort of flashback? I want it to look good in photography. So I'm going to try it on my face and I couldn't find it anywhere. Target didn't have it. Ulta didn't have it, Sephora didn't. I mean, they had it, but they had to ship it. It wasn't gonna come till next week. I even was trying to call the salon where the esthetician was that sold it to me. Nobody answered. And then I found it on Nordstrom and it was ready for pickup today. So today I'm gonna go pick up that. I have some makeup wipes and just some random stuff that I'm gonna get for my kit. I'm gonna pack my kit up and just make sure everything's clean and start kind of getting that ready. I'd like that to just be ready for Sunday. And uh, I have some things coming Amazon also. So I'm gonna have a little bit of like a makeup haul to show you of things that I've gotten sporadically. And then I'm just gonna have to make a list to make sure I have everything I want for this weekend. I'm really putting a little bit of pressure on myself so I need to lighten up because I don't wanna like freak myself out and overwhelm myself which is something I do often. This is a new thrifted piece I got from our little thrifty adventures with Emily. It's one of those huge hoodies <laughs> like down past my knees and it's so comfortable and now I officially have one in black and gray and now green. Oh god. Can you see down that? That's a clean straw. Very important. <laughs> Very important smoothie drinking tip. A little rainy today. I am gonna pick up my prescriptions first. So that's the first errand that I need to run and then the mall and that's it. And then I'm coming home. This is definitely a day where if I didn't have to leave my house, I wouldn't because I just don't feel, maybe it's the rain, maybe it's the clouds, maybe my smoothie hasn't kicked in, but you know, I'm doing the thing where I just feel anxious just for being away from home and even though it's places that are familiar and not far I don't want to be out at all and everything in my being is like fighting having to go anywhere. Just a little still got agoraphobia <laughs> just because I seem like I'm able to do all these things 
you guys all know that I have to prepare myself and I have my therapy tools and I have my kava only when I need it. I just want to also be sure that I say to anybody who was watching the kava video, you want to drink kava in moderation. I really only drink it maybe once every couple of months for events that are extremely, um, sorry, Casey Musgraves, <laughs> been really into her lately. I only drink kava for events that I absolutely have to have it for, but it's not good for your liver in excess, so just beware. I didn't talk heavily about that in the video because I was just trying to focus on the tea part and just how to make it and how it helps with anxiety. And I think I mentioned a little bit like in moderation, but I didn't really drive it home and I just wanna make sure I'm doing that. The Deeper Well song by Casey Musgraves is so good. She played it on SNL Live Barefoot. And Emily and I were watching it and I was like, I love her. Why do I feel like crying? Oh God, my period needs to start. <laughs> when she sings it live, her, her voice is so buttery. And watching her mouth when she sings is mesmerizing. And if you know what you know. If you know what I'm talking about and you've seen her sing live before, there's something about watching her perform and play on like SNL or live on TV or whatever. So entertaining. Hello. Hey there. Yes. Oh, oh, oh you're I'm stuck. Attached. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bless her heart, she's wearing a mask. She probably assumes that whoever's picking it up could be sick, which I understand. Sick in the head, just kidding. <laughs> I don't feel that way about myself, just because I'm dealing with a little bit of agoraphobia and anxiety, and it's something I've had my whole life, and I'm just now addressing. It doesn't mean I'm broken, and you're not broken if you have that either. I wanna do this as quickly as I can because I believe the husband is on his way home and that's when the dogs will bark and the house gets loud. Might as well just get it out of the way. Here's what I got at Nordstrom and this again is stuff for my makeup kit for the upcoming just wedding season and especially because this weekend's event. I just want this to look so good. Again, I'm not sure because there's SPF in this if this will photograph well, so I'm gonna try it. But this is the dewiest setting spray I've ever come across. And I love that it is an organic, refreshing water mist sunscreen. Is this the answer to brides who wanna wear sunscreen without it being underneath their makeup and mess with the foundation texture? We'll see. I'm wondering if I can spray this, set their makeup a little bit, but have it really dewy, and then spray it with like a setting spray that's more of a hold setting spray. We're gonna play with this idea. I also got some of the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer. I needed a new primer for underneath the skin. So tomorrow I'm basically going to be waking up and I've already, see, I've had this. I was gonna say, I think this is the one that I've already had for ages. Yes, it's just the small bottle. How pretty would this be for brides, if you know what I mean? I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that, probably not, but man, the shimmer. It just gives the skin. When I do this on my face tomorrow, I'll show it to you, and it's gonna give such a glow. Stunning, absolutely stunning, darling. And then we have some good old fashioned MAC wipes. <laughs> Love the smell, it takes me back to such good memories. And this is the Gently Off Micell Micellar Water MAC Wipes. And you just gotta have these in your kit. And again, I just love the smell of a MAC wipe. And then for myself, I got a new bralette. It was on sale, it's free people, and I've always wanted a more sexy looking nude top that I can have just kind of peek through with like button up tops, white shirts even sweaters that are kind of see-through. I just think something like this would be really pretty. So I'm excited. I'm excited to have one of these finally. I've been actually wanting one of these for such a long time. I can't believe it, just now, just now. Finally getting one. And then two things from Amazon that were recommendations from watching just tons of like other bridal videos. I feel like you never stop learning a lot of these influencers that are on YouTube that are actual makeup artists. A couple I've been looking at that are like for real has have been, cause see the thing is, is that sure, you know, somebody who doesn't work on the field 
can do a pretty makeup look on themselves but I want somebody who's like done multiple brides knows like what it's like to be out there <laughs> roughing it doing the real deal with bridal makeup and has that experience so I've been watching makeup artists specifically that have that as their like on their resume and I've been taking tips from them and what holds and what's good and I just want to make sure I'm brushing up on all of my skills and so I got the velour lash adhesive for my individuals I wanted something that I can place on an individual lash that'll really hold and so this was recommended as a good holding glue even though obviously I have duo and all that stuff and then this was a really good recommendation for a brow like universal a lot of people can pull this color off it's just like a neutral brown that you can put in your kit and it can do these microblading brush strokes through the brow this is just medium brown but i've heard really good things so i'd like to try it and i'm going to try it tomorrow i'll sanitize it before i put it back in the makeup kit which requires some rubbing alcohol and giving it a little bit of a soak so that way you can reuse it and this is all sanitation practices that i've adopted from when i worked at the mat counter so that's how we did uh sanitize sanitation on any of those um liquid liquid liner pencils and then this also came amazon yesterday pure cotton plant extract castor oil and sesame oil pack so this is basically a castor oil pack when i am feeling extremely bloated and uncomfortable i should be able to put this around my stomach if you've ever looked up at castor oil packs women who have really bad periods and endometriosis and just issues with like their digestive digestive system a lot of bloating and discomfort in their stomachs you essentially soak this in castor oil this is pure hex hexane free extract extra virgin pressure <laughs> i can't read because my dog's throwing me off but it's an organic castor oil and it looks like there's one that you can do around the neck maybe too is that what this is for i have to read the instructions here it is this is what you soak the cloth you don't have to buy this you can just take some old flannel soak it in castor oil lay down a towel put that over your like liver it's good for liver detox as well and moving things in your uh like your bowels and your system to keep things moving it's just it's supposed to have a lot of health benefits i'm really interested in learning a lot more about it i've got this situation that would be great to get rid of this anyway that's it <laughs> just in time for the husband to get home and the dogs to keep howling i was going to show you how i get the glowiest skin I can possibly get uh, with every product I have that's glowy to achieve the glowiest glow of all glows and this is probably what I will be doing to the bride this weekend so this is just a little prequel to that I'm I'm told I can bring my camera and film the makeup process which I am going to do if it's good lighting I'm gonna try to bring some stuff too because since this isn't a bride and it's not her wedding I don't feel bad putting my camera and equipment and stuff in her face because she's a model and she wants that you know promotion she she's like all about it so this is like very very rare for me i think it would be so fun to get more gigs like this where i get to do makeup creatively so i actually contacted the local theater to see who does the makeup for the theater i would just love to like go backstage and see how makeup is done for theater makeup and maybe start just like branching out a little bit in different ways okay so let's just dive in um i was going Going on a little bit of a tangent there but first of all cheers with some morning coffee mm. so the first thing i'm going to do is wipe her face clear plus i honestly just want to smell these because it reminds me of working at the mat counter it doesn't have the smell is this because these are the these are the gently off my cellar water ones yes they don't have the mac smell dang it <laughs> well that's actually kind of nice because sometimes you don't want to smell everything. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tone. And I have two types of toning milks. And my favorite one, woo, where'd it go? My favorite one is this one from Laneige. This is my second bottle. That's how you know I like something and it's almost out. But I started to use the Glow Oasis Milk Dew Moisture 
toner because this one's pretty full and once I get to the, close to the bottom of something I'll stop using it for a little while so that I don't see it go empty <laughs> if I love it and then again because I don't want to forget about it and then not buy it this is the probiotic prickly pear extract toner and I like to do these after I've cleaned my face and then just get as much as I can kind of spread out on my hands and it's just a milky kind of watery feeling but it just is such a nice extra burst of hydration to the face that if you have dry skin, it will feel so good. It just goes like your face just drinks it. Now that we have a nice mm, bouncy, it's a little tacky, it just feels really nice on the skin. We're going to give it some, uh, a little bit of oil. This is the Biro, what is it, Fig Renewal Oil. I love this little guy and it's just Look at that packaging it's just so cute so if you have like an oil-based serum of any kind i switch it up from what i use i have about 25 of them so there's like a bunch in a basket downstairs i have a bunch by my sink that i switch up at night i think my favorite is the honey grail by pharmacy oh god it literally feels like you're just melting honey onto your face but not in a sticky way it just smells like honey and it feels so good it's just such a nice feeling giorgio armani fluid sheer glow enhancer we're gonna take some of this a few drops let that set into the skin and absorb anyway now i'm gonna take the forever oh you know what i wanted to do is this is how i'm gonna do with bright i'm gonna do the concealer first before i do the foundation because i kind of want the foundation to blend over top of it so we're going to add this is it the yensa yes yensa concealer which this is not what i'm going to use on her i'm going to use the pure um probably likely the pure concealer foundation combo and i do bring the concealer just over the eye to neutralize any redness see how i brought it all the way down my cheek i wouldn't have been able to do that if it was on top of the foundation because that would have been bringing it down too far but now i can do it a little further down to cover up any redness so when i put on my foundation it's just a really nice color correction you know what I mean so I'll conceal a little bit around the areas that are more red too now we are really only concealing what you need to you're not just putting in an area that you think you need it you know oh I usually put my concealer here here and here sometimes these things can change too as we age so what you've been doing since you were in your 20s or 30s might not be what you're doing when you're in your 40s or in your late 30s so you can just really assess your skin and take a closer look and be like am I still doing the routine that my skin needs you know you don't need to uh stick with the same thing forever and I know you guys know that I know you know that but I think it's very easy to fall into a routine I do it so just something to think about you know maybe start using it only where you need it oh yeah I've got some pimples popping up hormones here she comes this will be a good time for me to go in and give my brows the effect that makes them look like they've been laminated that is a very pretty look for a bridal look I think but you don't want to do it crazy so first I'm just gonna get the Anastasia brow freeze on my face let me get you a little closer in a little bit get the brow freeze on the face and then I'm going to just put some of the product through the spoolie pull it up and then switch back to your spatula and then just using that spatula to smoosh it into the face but kind of fan it around so that it's going in the natural shape of your brow and how that would go not straight up you know your brows naturally not going to stick straight up if you're going for a faux bush we're going to use the Dior Forever Skin Glow. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back in where I concealed and lightly just set down on my eye on the top and the bottom. This is with no product. We're just smoothing it back out because as I move around, it creases and gets into those creases. And if you put translucent powder on top of that, you set the crease and then you'll always see it. So you just want to make sure it's smoothed out before you put translucent down. I'm going to use Tatcha. Apologies for Marvin. There is somebody mowing a lawn and a dog walked by. So God forbid. So we're just going to really try to get, we're going to do turtle face because we really want to try to get that skin to stretch so that we can set the under eye without it setting any creases and then i'm did i already say i'm using the tatcha silk canvas translucent uh in my kit i have the laura mercier and so that's what i'm going to use 
So now we've just set where we needed to. We have the under eye around the nose and the chin. Now what you're probably thinking is, I don't see any of that glowy stuff. You're right, right now you don't because everything is currently melting together. So after all of this and then we spray and highlight, then you'll start to see all of these products, these, like these dewy and glowy products will start to really come through. We're gonna use a cream based bronzer slash contour. We're just going down the front of the nose. Anything that looks like it's had too harsh of an edge, just take your finger and smooth it. Now I want to try this out. That is a nice fine line, I will say that. Ooh, a little bit too brown for me. Now we've got some alcohol. Pull it upside down and wipe the bristles and the brush. And you want to do that before you put it back in the cap. I'm just going to go in with mine. Now, since I'm not doing like a bridal eye look today, I'm really just trying to do the face for the eye makeup. I'm just gonna do a little bit of like a champagne-y cream stick. Cool, I'm gonna do some mascara and the lip and I'll be back to finish the face. So now we have on the lip, I've done the eyes and we are going to finish. Let's do a little bit of blush. I'm gonna use a cream blush. This is the Anastasia Latte. It's very much like a really subtle uh, rosy, I would almost say, like a rosy. The little brush that's on the other end of it, just because it's pretty good for this. You want something a little dense and tap, cream base, over the cheek. Now that everything is starting to melt into the skin a little bit more, you can really start to see the Armani underneath just coming through a little bit. Can't you see that? Like the skin's starting to glow a little. So it's starting to come through. It just takes a minute for things to melt together, if you will. But we're gonna help it along with a little bit of spray. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. I'm gonna take some flash photography with it just to make sure it doesn't have like really intense flashback in light because I do wanna use this. And I do like that it has a blue screen full spectrum protection. That way I don't have to put SPF on anybody because people are very, very hardcore about their SPF and it can tend to make the skin uh, flashback or look a little pale or white underneath. So we just want to make it look flawless and then give them that little sun protection they're going to want without having to use sunscreen. Fingers crossed this doesn't have flashback, but we're going to give it a good shake because this stuff actually settles. Just give it a really good shake. And it's funny to me that a esthetician is who sold this to me. So this is something she was like, it's the best for just healthy skincare. It's organic. It's full spectrum, blue light, SPF 18. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna actually just cover my eyes and do the bottom. And then cover my eyes and do the top. And this is just so my mascara and my eye makeup doesn't get any of this because we don't need my eyelids to be sticky. If you feel any spots that might still be a little wet or tacky, if you have one or a makeup sponge, just kind of press this in with a beauty blender. I'm gonna quickly do my brows off camera because I just wanna do this fast. I did wanna mention, so you know how we laminate the brows and we have them pointing up and we have that really nice spiky look. I just went in with the little pencil and just filled in the gaps so that I can now finish the brows so they're pretty like dried straight which is great because that means they're gonna hold amazingly I want these hairs to kind of stick this way but I want these ones to fold down so if there's some that are sticking too high up we just want to guide them to the side a little bit we don't want them sticking straight up bring it down so that way you've got that nice going up but now it's gonna flow like a fan. Obviously I have something to work with, but a lot of that is faux. Like a lot of that is faux hair strokes to make it look a lot thicker than it is. So now we are melting, <laughs> we're melting. All right, so now that we're melting, we can highlight. We're gonna take some of this Ciate Starburst. It's a beautiful champagne highlighter. And as if we need it now, cause we've almost got our own natural highlight going on, but just to really make it pop. I like to do just a little tiny bit across the forehead real quick, like just real quick. So now we want something heavy duty to set. The face is done and I love the look of the skin. It looks so healthy and glowy. I'm living, I'm living. We're gonna take 
a foundation powder in my tone and we are just going to go around any areas where the skin tends to show through a little bit of unevenness. So I tend to get a little splotchy around here. I get splotchy on the chin. And we also don't want this part of my chin to have glow because that will just look oily. This is where we get oily, a little bit between the eye. Under eye, we don't want a glow under eye. We just don't want sweating skin. We want it to be soft. Okay, and then around the nose, I'm gonna pinch it because I wanna get really precise in there. And then this is the powder you can take with you. Put this in your purse and touch up throughout the day. Then now you can take a very like stay put style. So like the all nighter, which we all know and love from Urban Decay. MAC has the stay, stay over fix plus now. Those are supposed to all be really good stay put style setting sprays. So if you want a good one to finish it all off with now that you've got your glow, this will just make sure everything stays where it needs to stay. So let's get this on. I would say you can probably like count to 30 and that's about how long it'll take for that to all start to melt and stay put. Give the hair a little fluff and there you have your glowing stay all day bridal skin of dreams. Seems like a lot, but if you're wanting it to stay all day and it's a very important event, then it's worth the extra effort. Here's the makeup in natural lighting in front of a window. See how this area still needs a little bit of powder and right right between my eyes right here. I don't mind the highlight up here, but maybe I won't do that for the bride. Under eyes, I'm so glowy that what I'm probably gonna do is just make sure I don't get any of that primer, the illuminator under the eye area. And I might even skip it on the chin because I wanted to see just how much it comes through my foundation. Look at that. Look, I mean, this is a highlight too, but look at that glassy glow. That is so pretty. My skin looks so healthy. <sighs> so something that I've been doing lately is, and I haven't been like filming any of it or anything because I don't know why, <laughs> honestly, but I am going to make myself the current obsession for my breakfast. And I thought I would share it. Uh, so let's do a little, little brekkie together, shall we? So when I toast the toast, I don't like it to be really toasted. I just want it to warm it up so it softens the bread. A bit of mayo so it's not like dry. I just don't like a sandwich to be dry. All right, our egg is perfectly, actually I'm gonna flip it for it to break over the toast. A yolky sauce and I just put tomato on top, salt and pepper. And now we're going to add our micro greens. And then we're gonna finish her off with some of this organic glaze with balsamic vinegar. But we just give it a circle because then it looks pretty. And there is your delicious, healthy breakfast. Again, this would be so much better with a little bit of avocado just smashed onto the top of the bread. The avocado really makes it delicious. But I'm gonna go enjoy this and get to work. But that is my current favorite go-to breakfast. <laughs> But I'm getting ready. I'm pretty much ready. I have about an hour before I need to leave for the event. I haven't been nervous about it really. I've been more excited about it up until today. And then when I woke up today, because I'm cramping and because I don't feel well and I just want to stay home and I'm just feeling that wanting to stay home pull that it's really, it's fighting against myself to make myself go do this. But I know once I get there and once the makeup is getting done that everything's going to be fine. I need to just see my surroundings. It's the unknown that always messes with me and not knowing creates a little bit of extra anxiety on top of already what would be an anxious inducing thing considering I'm going to be doing makeup and I don't know how we're being presented to the room. The tickets are sold out. It's a lot of people. I had a smoothie already. I'm going to have some toast tied me over, bring some snacks, and my kit's ready to go and we're ready. We're ready to go. So I'll show you the outfit before I leave. I 
I made it. It dumped rain. Oh my God. <laughs> but the moment I got to Seattle, it cleared up and it's beautiful. So fingers crossed it stays that way when I drive home tonight. I don't know how long I'm gonna be here. I really just wanna feel it out. I'm not obligated to stay after I'm done with the makeup, but I think it would be good for me to stay because then I could sit and talk to people and network so we'll see how it goes we'll just see like i always give myself a way out so that my comfort levels stay at bay because if i make myself think i'm like locked in then obviously if you're somebody who experiences hang on <laughs> a little agoraphobia issues then um feeling stuck or locked in is going to be a problem so i drank my kava I still have some left. I wanted to save some for the dinner. <laughs> this place is called the Imperia on Lake Union. I wanna walk around and get some video, but I'm just gonna go in and feel it out. Hopefully I'm at the right place. This is the glam room. You hit the button and the door opens into this beautiful room. It's so cute. Look at this. You've got all of these lovely seating spaces in the bridal suite for the bride and her bridesmaids. There's a full bar around the corner, a full restaurant. I haven't even gone out back. Little spot for you to put your dress on. Oh, I can't. I actually can't with how cute this place is. My station with everything I need. Got her set up right in front of the window so she can look out there and some natural light. Lovely. Hey, darling. I tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life away
I was like, is that my mask? And then my husband was like, I know. Uh, so I can terrorize him. <laughs> I see. Oh, I'm just going to like throw shit on you. That warms my essence. You, my love, take me to heaven even when I don't believe. You, my love. Founder, master stylist, and educator at the Harlow Collective. Hello, good morning. I'm a little groggy. I did so much talking yesterday, and I also realized when Emily was here that I started to feel like I was losing my voice because I hadn't talked that much. I'm home a lot. <laughs> I had such a good time. Oh my goodness. I knew I would. I knew all of the stress and all the worry about driving there and you know maybe having to stand up in front of a lot of people and say something just really was bothering me and not knowing the space that well and not knowing the vibe i was getting into but i did trust summer and i trust that she's going to you know suggest a situation that is going to be fun so i sh i really should have put more trust into just knowing and i did that actually i i did a little bit something my therapist was teaching me was how to listen to my anxiety managers that are trying to make me feel a little nervous about a situation and i listened to them and i was understanding and i was nurturing to that side of me that's saying i'm scared and i was like it's okay it's okay this is a scary thing i totally understand instead of oh i hate that i'm like this and and that difference of how i talk to myself has done a really impactful switch on how I treat myself and you really do this is gonna seem so cheesy oh my god if I lose subscribers because of this well you know what that's okay cuz I'm a positive person now <laughs> I'm switching <laughs> from Sienna the grump to Sienna the positive person because when you start talking nicer to yourself you start wanting to be kinder to the world kinder to everything doesn't mean you're gonna be Mrs. Perfect and that you're gonna have the most beautiful, perfect everything, but it does mean that the kinder you are to yourself, the kinder you are to the people that you speak with and just everybody I talked to, I was just so engaged with in the conversation and really feeling like them as a person and their, their energy as a person. And actually it's funny, the poet who was the star of the show, she came over to our table and was like, I want to hang out over here. There's like good vibes coming from here. You guys have good auras. And I was like, you have no idea how much that means to me. <laughs> because I feel like I came from a very dark place to get to this light. And so it just feels so good. And I was just really, really enjoying just meeting people and conversating and seeing people's talents because all the vendors there all had something to offer. So we had the poet, the musician, oh my god. We had all of the bridal gowns set up to look at and they were beautiful. The bride herself was so sweet. I absolutely love chatting with her. She's already married and the groom is going to be getting married to his husband in a month. So it was just, oh and that was the thing too that I really liked is that their whole focus of this event was to be very inclusive so they were really supportive the owners uh, are two women it's a woman-owned business and they're a married couple just everybody had so much character and were so lovely to talk to and these are the reasons why this agoraphobic needs to get out of the house more and i don't know if you needed to hear this if you're also one of the one of my agoraphobic family that's here from that video because i gained some followers from that because we all relate and it's nice to see, you know, how we're all delegating things. And I know that some people have a little bit um, harder of a challenge with this than I do because I'm kind of on the other end where I've been in therapy and I've started sobriety and so I'm doing the work that I need to do to get myself healthier mentally. And so I feel like this is a good place and a good time for me to show you guys because it's not the hard part. The hard part I would have never filmed and I'm sorry, but like I wasn't in a good place when it came to when I was really drinking and like really feeling stuck. And I still filmed and vi did videos back then, but I just would like 
really control like how I showed it and now I'm just I'm more open and that's the difference and that's because I feel like I'm in a good place to do that so hopefully it's helpful because if you are somebody who feels that kind of like anxiety of getting out and going doing things like this um, there is it's possible and there is a way to have a happy life and that's all I'm searching for I actually talked about this with Summer when we we're sitting at our little booth so we sat at our little table with our samples <laughs> And we handed out our little sample. She gave me one of the Bumble and Bumble hair treatments. So I got shampoo, conditioner, and treatment. And we were just chatting about things. I was telling her I was in EMDR therapy. I'm just very vocal about it, so that way I don't feel stuck. It helps me not feel stuck. So if I tell anybody, hey, I've got the, I don't have to say agoraphobia, but sometimes I just say, I have this anxiety issue that kind of like prevents me from being able to do certain things. Most people are pretty understanding of that. And, um, you know, know that you're working on it. So I just was like, yeah, I'm in therapy and I feel like I'm just trying to become a happy human. That's all I'm trying to do. I just wanna be happy. I wanna be a happy human, whatever it takes. I was supposed to speak to my therapist about this event and do EMDR. That's how like worked up I got myself about this because it was like one of my first things that I'd done in a long time where I had to get up in front of a room. Like I had to, I, they introduced us and we had to walk down in front of everybody and say hi and stand up on stage and that was nerve wracking. And there was a speech to be had and Summer had to do the speech because this was her, like this was her thing. It was her event that she had me come to and I'm her partner when it comes to the glam team for her wedding referrals that she gives me through her business. But I, and being that she's, we're partners, I should have stood up, but I was like, I can't, <laughs> I can't do it. I'm sorry, I'm not ready yet. But she got up there, took one for the team and did a little speech about her business and herself. And then she just like, briefly mentioned me and um, the cake guy didn't get up there. I mean, a few people just were like, no. Uh, I don't even think the, f did the, oh, the photographer did. She's so funny. She was a hoot. She got a photo of me doing the makeup with the fan. And so that's already up on Instagram. I think I could probably screenshot and share here, but obviously I'm gonna get copies of all the photography and then the makeup. I did the double setting technique where you spray the face once you've gotten everything on except for like lipstick and then let that melt into the skin then I go to the lipstick and I go to do a few more little touches and then I set it with a setting spray so there's like a dewy setting mist and then there's like a setting spray and then that locks it in and I think that really truly is the key for me to get a really dewy face that's gonna stay. And so hopefully I'll be able to get her information and ask her like, hey, did the makeup feel like it stayed? Do you feel like if you got up close, it looked like it was coming up in any way? Or like, was it too sticky? Did it feel like it, your hair was sticking to it? Like I want some feedback um, because that's gonna be like my, I think, specialty. My first sip of coffee. I needed that. It was a blast, what else am I leaving out? So that's it, that's all I've got. And I'm gonna start this week fresh. I have a lot going on this week as well. I have a dog guest coming for a few days and my mother-in-law's coming and I have an event on the weekend as well, another event. So lots going on and make sure you sign up for my newsletter. Just go to the link below. It is in my description box and that is to my blog. The moment you click on that and go to my blog, it pops up a subscribe button. So. Um, you can subscribe to my newsletter that comes out once a month and it's an update of just all the fun things and happenings going on. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope I thanked everybody. Thank you Summer from Harlow Collective for inviting me to this event and I look forward to more. So yeah, subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. It's true.